Global Runner. Hi everyone, I'm the Global Runner and today we're going to go for a run on Grace Bay which is on the northern side of Providenciales. So the beach itself is huge, it's about seven and a half miles long which is about 12k but it's actually three beaches connected so we have Grace Bay in the middle and then on the eastern side we have Leeward Beach and on the western side we have Bite Beach. And despite what I said in my last post about how it's the best beach in the world, I looked it up and apparently it is TripAdvisor's second best beach in the world. Green flag, despite the wind. It's going to be a windy one again, but uh, the flag is green. Lady Grace, Grace Bay. I hope these colours are coming through. That's insane. The sand is a lot softer this morning, so I should probably turn around. Uh, I don't want to overdo it. But then again, how do you turn around when that's in front of you? I was going to get up earlier, but jet lag conspired against me. So there's quite a few people out walking. But uh, we're now, here's a comp shelf. We're now at the part of the beach. We're nearly three miles. It's about 5K from the main hotels. And to me, this is the runner's zone. This is where you only see it if you're a runner. Look, here's another con. That's not something you see every day. If you're a runner, you have the privilege of seeing these quiet parts. And I don't know, I, I'm not sure if non-runners get that. So we're about 5k down the beach, and unless I want to get my feet wet, this is where it ends. I suspect that will be accessible at low tide, but uh, not right now. I've done about 5k, so this is going to be a 10k run. It's way hotter than I'm used to. I know, I know, poor me. But um, just look at that. That is worth the price of admission. So I guess it's the other arm that's going to hurt this time and I'll get the sun on my left. My left leg will be the one I'm hurt. I guess that's a, an advantage of beach run. There's a lot. shoes that I wore on today's run 
are these ones. These are the Socony Speed. These are the original version. There's a Speed 2, which is out at the minute. And these are in the like 1980s colorway. They had a shoe back in the 80s called the Jazz, which looked a lot like this. So uh, these are the shoes that I wore today. This is the grip. There's a decent amount of coverage for the grip. Um, I've heard some people say that they struggle in the wet with these, but I've never had any issues at all. And uh, this is one of those shoes, it's sort of an in-between shoe. This is not a full carbon fiber plate type of shoe. This has just a nylon plate. In the race version of this is the Endorphin Pro. I really struggled with that. I didn't enjoy that shoe at all. This is my second pair of these. I had exactly the same pair previously and I got over 500 miles in these. That's like 800 kilometers in the previous pair. These ones are almost brand new. These are about 20 miles in. And um, I think these would go forever if you let them. This is a PBAX based foam and there is a bit of exposed foam here, which tends to rough up a bit, but um, I've really had no problems with the shoe. If I could only have one shoe in my shoe rotation, and I don't, but if I could only have one, I'd pick this shoe. That you could race in this, you could do track sessions in this, you could do long runs in this. In my previous pair, I did a 30 mile run and I also did 400 meter repeats. So it is the most versatile shoe I think you'll find out there. There's a lot of spring in there, as you can see. I wouldn't call it a rigid shoe, but you can feel the plate and it really does encourage really fast, nice running. So great shoe, bought this from Strides Running Store and uh, I don't know about the Speed 2, but um, I'd pick this up again, definitely.